What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV. In this video, we're gonna go through good lock and the module specifically that we're gonna talk about today is camera assistant, which if you allows you to download it, will say that you can customize your own camera settings in your preferences. When you open this up, there is a bunch of settings to go through. The first one is auto HDR, which if you have it turned on, captures more details in the bright and dark areas of your pictures and video. So it'll automatically have that feature turned on or off and give you more dynamic looking photos and videos. Like it says, it's you know pretty easy to turn on and off. Picture softening, I don't like this. Basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna, if instead of the pictures coming out sharp, like nice and clear, um, it's gonna make the person, for instance, uh, it'll smooth out their skin. I don't like the look of that. I like it to be off, but if you want it to be on a medium or high setting for that, you can. And when you do have it on, it automatically will, anytime you take a picture, have that softening put onto your photos. Again, I don't like that at all. I like my photos to be very sharp looking, very real. So that's why I keep that feature off. Uh, the next one is auto lens switching. Now, when you have this one on, it'll let the camera pick the best lens based on the zoom, lighting, and distance to the subject. So it'll switch between these different lenses on the back of the phone when you're in your camera. So if you're right here and you're trying to take a picture, you know, something specific, it will switch your lens for you and get allow you to get the best photo for you automatically so you don't have to figure out which lens to choose. The next one is the quick tap shutter. When you have this on, it takes pictures as soon as your finger touches the shutter button instead of when you lift it off, you can still swipe or press and hold the shutter button to capture GIFs, burst shots, and videos, but a picture will be taken too. So when you turn that on, I'll show you real quick, and we open up our camera. Whenever you just, whenever you press it, it's gonna automatically do it. Instead of waiting for you to lift your finger up, it will automatically take those photos for you. Uh, capture speed. So when you do capture speed, you can either prioritize quality, balance, and speed, or prioritize speed. If you prioritize, quality for the best pictures, prioritize speed to capture pictures as fast as possible, or you can balance speed and quality for faster capturing without sacrificing too much quality. So it depends on what, you know, what's important to you. If you think the Samsung cameras are really slow at capturing photos and things like that, then, you know, go to prioritize speed. Or if you think it's bad at, if you think it's good at quality and you want it to be quality and choose quality, depends what you want. I'm gonna choose balance, speed and quality overall. Uh, the next one is video recording in photo mode. If you have this turned on, if you press and hold the shutter button, it will automatically start recording videos. So open this up, you have photo mode. If I press and hold the shutter button right here, it's gonna automatically start doing video for me. But the thing is when I lift up, it's gonna automatically stop, so keep that in mind. It's not like when you just choose video overall and you can you know, lift your hand off the shutter button or the, the record button, it'll keep going. This is different, but it's still, if you're in photo mode, you wanna capture a quick video and it happened at that moment in front of you, just press and hold that shutter button. Uh, the next one is timer multi-photo options. So when you have your timer on, you like to take a photo, it'll take anywhere from one to seven photos in a row. And you can also choose the interval uh, in between those photos if you want, if you choose something more than one. Set it to two seconds. I'm gonna hit photo. So for two seconds, it's gonna take a photo. So it only took one, but set to maybe three photos. And here, and I do the timer photo, I can hit this. There you go, it takes a photo, takes a photo, takes a photo, should be the third one it took. You know, you don't wanna have to keep pressing the shutter button or whatever, it'll automatically take up to seven photos on the timer. Next one is camera timeout. So uh, if you're in your camera and you just want it to shut down, even though you have it open, you can set a timer of anywhere between one minutes and 10 minutes, and it will automatically close the camera app if you're not using it. Dim screen while recording, this will save some battery life, but basically if you're recording a video and you really don't need to see the screen, and you're gonna do like maybe a long video, you can have the screen basically dim down uh, after a minute or 10 minutes on there to save yourself some battery, or you can just completely turn it off and that and it will not dim the screen at all. Just keep it the way it's bright. It, the brightness is based off how you have it set. And the last one is clean preview on HDO, HDMI displays. Basically, it will show the camera preview without settings or buttons on the HDI connected display. So if you have your camera open and you have your phone connected to an HDMI display, it's not gonna show any of this stuff on here. It'll only show what the camera is showing. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you wanna watch the rest of my videos on Good Luck, they're all linked down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.